Engineer 775 with uh, step one on most of our jobs. Thought I'd show you a little more of the process. We are putting in a pole for the solar mount and then we're going to trench up through, we're always trenching, always digging up through the woods. And this one is a commercial well, but it, the static water level is very high. And if you have that situation, you have a lot of options. So what I'm going to do, just start to, oh, you run into all fun messes that yeah, I got to clean up. But we're going to clean this thing up. And we're, what we're going to do is plumb in a um, shallow well pump. So we're going to clear a spot over here, which we'll show you all that. We're going to put a piston pump and bladder tank and charge controllers and all sorts of goodies over here and we're going to suck the water out of the well and bring it over to this one and boost it up and we're going to do that all with solar in parallel with this uh, house system all right we've got a lot of a lot of plumbing a lot of work to do and that's it let's get to work this is nice to be able to open up a well and see water. Is that a high static water level or what? So close to artesian pouring out. But that's why I'm doing a shallow well piston pump. This well is 300 feet deep. So there's a lot of water storage, a gallon and a half per foot. But the water is right at the top. Sweet. Don't take any solar energy or battery energy to suck the water out of this baby. So that's... That's a bonus. Ah, this is my kind of well. My well runneth over. It is a uh, absolutely full. <laughs> it was down about a foot and it's come up to full. And it's just dribbling a little bit. So we'll have to deal with that. But uh, awesome. I think it's going to be easy to get water out of this well. What do you think? All right. One of the simplest hand pumps in the world. It is the simplest hand pump in the world. You see. It's just a piece of pipe with a check valve. This water's dirty because it's a, we've been uh, disturbing the well instead of steel casing. That's it. And that's it, just a piece of pipe and a check valve on the bottom and you got well, well water. If your water is below 30 feet. Okay, we've stubbed up our plumbing. What we're gonna do here is we've, we've done everything on the well. The well is done and we've come under the frost line and stubbed up inside this little fake rock deal I'll show you here and then we're going to plumb into the booster pump and then out of the booster pump and then over and in this manifold and then that's going to connect to this which we've already hooked to the house so we're just making a simple short loop run some wire over here for some heat tape at 38 degrees it'll kick on just in case but we do have an insulated rock that we're just going to put over this so now i'm going to put some gravel and stuff this is just we just set everything in place so we could see um if the cover would fit over this and then we'll level everything up line everything up and put some gravel in here make it a little neater than that we're not working in the dirt like this this is just to make sure that thing is going to fit so okay and then we got a trench to our solar panel all right, we're wrapping up this uh, shallow well project. We've got a 24 volt system with a Denkoff 24 volt piston pump. And we've done all our adjustments. And we have our charge controller, batteries charging off of solar about 40 feet away. We've got a heat tape on the critical parts that could freeze, and then we insulated everything too. So basically, the existing well is over there under the rock and we're sucking the water out of that into the piston pump and then just looping around we pull the water in here through the pump it boosts it up comes through a check valve pressurize the tank back down to the ground and over to the house we're tied into the house plumbing so that's it we tried we could do a little siphoning there's some funky things you can do on a shallow well but we're we're done <laughs> And I don't know if you can pick up that number. There we got 25 volts, 26 volts. So our system is charging well. And we're going to cover it up. 
here and uh, what we're going to be using is the insulated fake rock cover just quick and dirty when you're in the woods nobody can see this anyway here so it didn't have to build a building that saves a lot of money a lot of time and we tried to make it as clean as possible leveled everything up put everything on blocks and then nice gravel around to keep it clean all right this is engineer 775 signing out again if you need help with your wells springs farms whatever water project you're working on we've uh, covered a lot of different types and as you've seen so um, look forward to any challenges you might have out there whether they're poor producing wells or just difficult to get to places we can bring the power to you and we'd be happy to so just let me know also design systems for people have been doing one in chile overseas um, just places that i can't get to be happy to design a system for you get you the components and walk you through what you need to do okay sun's going down and we're out of here so this is another way of uh, taking advantage of uh, your shallow well um, and setting up an off-grid system right next to your on-grid system they both work together uh, they're both check valved and can be they are isolated and they pull from two different drop pipes in the existing well so anyway lots of lots of options hope this all makes sense if not let me know if i can help you thanks